In this video I'm going to show you a development sequence guided by a design blueprint and we will be developing a course inside of Canvas. At the minimum a design blueprint should list the course modules, the course activities, and the course due dates. In this video I'm going to use a course blueprint that was built using the PDF course schedule builder. This is a free tool that was developed at Utah State University and it allows instructors to design a course schedule in a native PDF environment, the free program Adobe Reader. There will be a link to this tool at the end of this video. If you choose not to use uh, this tool, certainly you can type the information into um, a word processing document or a spreadsheet program. I've broken this development sequence into seven steps. Step one is create assignment containers. Step two is create module pages. Step three is create module one layout and a layout template. Step four is copy layout template to other modules. Step five is complete module pages. Step six is complete assignments. And step seven is create a home page. This is how I've configured my development environment. I have Canvas open in a browser on the left hand side of my screen. And I have my design blueprint open in Adobe Reader on the right hand side of the screen. In step one I'm going to create assignment containers. So I will come over to the left hand navigation and click on the assignments tab. Now these are just going to be placeholders for the actual assignments that I will build in step six. So I will come over to my design blueprint and look at the types of activities that are going to be um, created inside of Canvas. So I have a discussion, quiz, and assignment. So those are the main three in this course and I have five discussions, five quizzes, and three assignments. So in order to create the placeholders I'll come to my assignment group. I will click on this green button and the first thing I'll do is select the type. So I'm going to create a placeholder for discussion one And then for the due date, I can actually just come over to my design blueprint, cut and paste the date in there. If I know the points, I can put that information in. If I don't, I will put that information in when I actually create the discussion in step six. So I'll just say update. And now I have a container built for discussion one. I'm going to continue that process for the remaining discussions. Now that I have containers created for all of my discussions, I'm going to repeat the process for my quizzes. So again, I will come in, I will select the type of assignment, which is quiz. I will type in quiz one. I will grab the quiz one due date. from my design blueprint and I will continue that process until I have containers for all five quizzes and then I'll build containers for the three assignments. Now that I've created containers for all of my activities the last thing I'm going to do is move them into place chronologically and Canvas makes this really easy to do. I'll just scroll over the assignment until I get this moving symbol, click on the assignment and drag it into place. In step two, I'm going to create a page for each module in the course. So I will come to the left hand navigation, click on pages, and by default I'm going to see the front page um, which we're going to turn into the home page in step seven. So I will just click on edit this page and I'm just going to put a little label on here, home page. 
Uh, scroll down to the bottom, save changes. So that will be our home page and then I will click on create a new page in the right hand editing palette and create a page called module 1. It will open it up into the what you see is what you get editor. I will save the changes for that page and continue building pages out for the remaining modules. In step 3 I'm going to create a module 1 layout and I'm going to use that layout as a template for my other modules. Select module 1 and click on edit this page and now I'm going to refer back to my design blueprint and what I'm looking for in this design document is a pattern to the activities. That will allow me to create a template. So in the first module I have an orientation, readings, videos, discussion, quiz. Same thing in module 2 except for there's also assignments added. Module 3 pretty much the same. Okay so I'm going to type a, a series of headings over here. Let's say readings videos, discussion, assignment, and quiz. I will highlight this text and use the built-in tool to change these to a heading 3. And then I'm going to insert a blank line and change that into paragraph format. When I've got my layout looking the way that I would like, I'm going to highlight the layout and copy it either using a keyboard shortcut or I can also come up to my browser and click on Edit, Copy. Then I will save the changes in Module 1 and then I'll be ready to move on to Step 4 which is to open the remaining pages and paste that template into each module page. In step 5 I'm going to complete the module pages. So I will go to the left hand navigation, click on the modules tab, and in the right hand corner I'm going to click on the button that says add a new module. I will type in the module name and I'm going to have my modules open at a specific time. I can get that date by copying it from my blueprint and pasting it into the unlock at field and then clicking on add module. I will repeat that process for the remaining modules. Now I will add the content page that I created to each module. And at this point I'm ready to build out the entire module page. So I will click on module 1. I will open the editor and again I'm going to use my design blueprint to populate canvas. So I'm going to cut the module title. I will paste it in here and style it. And then for my activities, I will come back to my design blueprint and copy that information and paste it into my editor and then start to move the components to where they go. So the first activity, uh, the orientation, is kind of a one-off. So I'm going to use that text to create a new heading. And then I will use the description to create instructions. So I'm going to change that to paragraphs, text, and then just say, uh, please review the student tutorials. I like to put my 
instructions in using an, an italics format and then I'm going to link this to the student tutorials so I will open those up copy that URL and then use the link tool to create a link to those tutorials for my readings I will post those up there now this first reading is the syllabus and so I can highlight that text and point that to the course syllabus in Canvas the second reading is um, a textbook chapter and so there's no digital asset to connect to that one for my videos I will paste the titles in there and then put my cursor on a blank line and then click on the media symbol and select the upload media tab select video file and then I will go to my desktop highlight the video and click open and that will load the video into canvas and it will place an embedded video player right in my page I'll do the same thing for the second video for my remaining activities the discussion and the quiz and there's no assignment in module one so I'll just delete that from my template uh, I've already created those containers in canvas so I can come over to discussions click on discussion one reposition my cursor open up the quizzes tab click on quiz one and then I will use the descriptions once again to create instructions for the discussion and the quiz and at this point I'm ready to save my changes I will build out the remaining modules in the same fashion in step six we are going to complete the assignments that we have already created containers for I think that building out these different assignments is outside the scope of this video so I'm not going to show how to build the individual assignments but I will show you that by clicking on an assignment I can easily get to edit the assignment settings and I can put in my instructions here and set all my other settings and then just repeat that process for the remaining activities and for our last step we're going to create the home page so I will navigate back to the home page I am going to change the home page layout and I'm going to select a page I'll design myself and hit update layout and by default this will load the front page so I'm going to edit this page and I will come into my blueprint over here I'm going to grab the title of this course and I will change the styling on the text and then I'd also like to insert a graphic on the front page and so I'm going to click on uh, the media symbol right here and there's a link down to Flickr's Creative Commons and I'll search for an image that I can use so let's type in uh, education research and yeah that looks like a nice graphic showing a little spreadsheet table there I'll save that change and I'm done.